I'm Lana Maseko. Many of you won't know that I'm actually an event planner in real life. I'm always on the lookout for foodie inspirations to use in my new role as SABC 3's hostess. Lonzo, where are we? Are we in Beijing or something? No, man. We had to meet Tommy. So basically, he's... Do you know him, first of all? As in Tommy Dish? Like the gay ancestor from the Feather Awards? Yes, him. OMG. So he's asked us to plan this fabulous wig party. Apparently he does it every year, but no one clearly knows anything about that. But he's asked us to kind of lift it up and make it something. Oh, maybe you can give him a few tips here and there about Murere, Manala. What I'm more worried about is that your friends can't organize things. I think you need to change all your gay friends and oh, find wow. new ones. Okay, come on, Shadra. Keep shading me. I love Tammy Dish, you know. He's like the original Carolyn Stain of the gay community, but without the divorces. Oh, hello! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Have you just come from a rave? Oh, How are you? Hello, yes, Betsy Johnson. Yes. Hello, my sweetheart. How are you? I'm good. Oh, you you look fabulous. I didn't expect anything less from Tommy. I mean, lashes on point, wig. I mean, his lashes made me question whether mine were put on properly. Okay. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay, all these events you're throwing are bringing in the kaching. Tommy's house, it is so grand. I was like, I need me some tenders. Okay, so Tommy, let's get to it. Um, when are we being nominated for Feathers? That's that's why we're here. Yes, Tommy, so. hank of the year here, of course. Yeah, I mean, be sure. I'll, 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 I'll give you fag hack. So let's try to some fag up. I guess. Imagine me at the Feather Awards, hank of the year. I was like, this party, I have to slay it. Okay, jokes aside. Okay, yeah. How did this wig party come about? Why are we throwing a wig party? What's happening? Well, I think cancer patients go through a lot of trauma when they go through chemotherapy and radiation and they lose a lot of hair. I mean, my brother was once um, a patient and uh, I, I saw him through the loss of hair and everything else. So I wanted us to do something like really great, like this party and collect wigs, have people come together. Um, and then I spoke to a friend of mine, Tandi, who's great. And Lovely. she said, I've got a beautiful space. We can have great um, a partnership with fashion and style and everything else. And then people come into the parties, when you leave, you leave your wig behind, oh. and Honey, now we're going to donate it. Mine's not even. No, darling. Could, you better come here with a wig on. I love a good wig party. But my wigs are not from China. This girl grew that thing for like 18 years. When she turned 90, she cut all of it off. And thank you so much, Karasta. Um, I have a beautiful wig, and no one knows that my hairline's like lacking. OK, cool. So obviously we're running out of time. Where do you want this party? What's happening? OK, cool. Come, let's oh. get together. Before. Yeah. Girl, do not. Oh my. Why are you snatching <gasps> your own weed, girl? Darling, I'll put it back on when you're ready for my party. You oh, never. Okay. It's like you Come never through. take off Let me show heels you. in public. Oh, wow. Oh. This is so, so lovely. This is, cool. this is the space that I want you guys to use. How many people are you expecting? I'm expecting today about 10 people. Nice. So I want you guys to be able to do like um, fun, really easy, um, uh, quick things that are branchy like. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Menu. Um, I heard you don't yes. eat. I heard a rumor. Are you writing um, notes? No, I'm not. I don't do wheat. Girl, you're lying. No, no sugar, no dairy. Gluten free girl, sugar free girl, no dairy. What do you eat? Because we know you like to eat. A big question. Yeah. Because clearly, you know, <laughs> what's the budget? Well, I mean, I think um, 10K under okay. for me. And I think that, you know, the people okay. I've invited, I think. You said, can work with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's like 10K a tap under. Early. Okay, it's not cool. a lot of people. I mean, you're spending a thousand rand per person. All right. On what? Deco, Don't food. worry, we'll do, we do this yeah. for a living. I mean, you okay. were part this of a long list. You, you were part of a long list, and okay. we decided <laughs> to push you to the front. <laughs> we plan parties, my darling. Thank okay, you, love. I'll see you shortly. Make it look amazing. Let go of the bottle. It's going to be great. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, Tommy. Bye, Tommy. Bye, Tommy. Stay short. Hey, 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 hey. Maybe you'll do it. I have work to do. Tabo, my fisa, Congolese boy. What are you doing with Barbie's wig? Her... As a girl from Township, I am trying to empower Tambo. But he keeps going to where he knows, the Township. Girl, why are you wearing a wig from, like, Hillbrow? I just want me to be single like you forever. I... Bye. 
Hi, no comments. Anyway, so, so excited. How fabulous was Tommy? Oh my word, I die for Tommy. Like, I learned everything that I know today from him. I can see when you don't like somebody, but keep on got almost like a little like. Oh no, girl. She thinks that I might hook up with one of our elders. Like, I'm a respectable child. I was raised well. I respect my elders. Imagine a whole entire tummy dish. What am, what am I gonna do with them? I love the idea about hair. The fact that he gives it to people with cancer. Beautiful, right? So I think like you need to find like wigs galore. Can you imagine like if we had like these beautiful like heads? Oh, that'd Polish be so Irene cool. Ones. I love beautiful heads. Love it. And then like different wigs on like each head. And I've got my homegirl in Chinatown. She's gonna hook us up proper. Like when you enter her place, you're like, her, 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 her. Okay, so let's talk about menu. No gluten, no sugar, no dairy. That is cray cray. Like, how do you live like that? A brunch menu should do. Things like chorizo and green olive shakshuka, bundles of pancetta wrapped asparagus, beet salmon gravelux with cucumber ribbons, radish, and nut crackers. I think we should manipulate him. Ramona, if we don't get a feather, you're not getting a party. Like and, I, and then I'm also get him like a Dave's Woodrum wig or something. Hello, my lovies. We're back in our favorite place, the kitchen, where we make magic happen. So as you know, we're creating this beautiful brunch menu for tummy dish. So what I decided to create was this beautiful salmon dish that's going to be cured in some beetroot, some salt, some coriander seeds, some really great ingredients. The reason I chose salmon is because it's such an easy fish to eat and enjoy, and it absorbs so much flavor. Another thing is that everybody kind of has smoked salmon. Boring, so I wanted to cure it. And basically what curing is, it's a form of osmosis. I know in biology, I was even listening, so I don't even know what osmosis is. But when I was doing some research, it basically is going to absorb all the liquids out so that we get all the beautiful flavor of the salmon. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to start with my beetroot into the bowl. Some sea salt, coarse salt actually. And then some xylitol. How we're learning new words in 2017. Today we're doing orange zest. Something different, aromatic, and it's going to change the flavors of the fish. So orange zest it is, and then some coriander seeds, which I've hardly used, but I think it'd be quite nice to, to add into the fish and just bring it, bring out all the flavors, and we love good flavor. This cure's pretty much ready, so what I'm going to do now is that you need a tray, kind of like with a bit of depth, like that, right? I'm going to put the salmon inside, like so. Ooh, this girl is heavy. I wonder what part of the sea they caught her from. Luckily it's sustainable, so we're safe. Please don't call us from Cape Town. So you take the cure and you start smothering it. So basically what you need to do now is find another pan and you're going to kind of put it on top of the salmon so that all the flavors absorb. And then you're going to put it into the fridge for a couple of hours, if you have hours, overnight, hopefully, so that it really becomes something amazing. You know, it's almost like that boyfriend that left you and then you're trying to figure out, should I call him that night, should I not call him that night? And then some stupid girlfriend of yours tells him, tells you to call him that night and you call him and then, but anyway, who cares? But let's not talk about boys, we always fail in that area. But guess what? You never thought I would do a TV on you. Yes, I did it. I have one ready. So that's been kind of curing for, for a day or two. Somebody did it, not me. Life's too short. I've got assistance, honey. That's why I hired Tabo. So what I'm going to do now is remove all the beetroot and everything else on top of the salmon. And then we're going to dress it up, cut it up nicely, and put these beautiful seed crackers on. And Tabo and his friends can dig in, enjoy, and taste something from Cape Town for a change. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty much done. Sliced up and ready to be gobbled and enjoyed. So I'm basically just going to dress it now. So really however you want. You know, like painting is actually like, like a little kid at school. If painting was never your thing, honey, you start plating food. So pretty. I can just see how gorgeous it's gonna look on the table. It's gonna brighten everything up. All right, so final touches to this beautiful salmon gravelux. I know. <laughs> 
you know, sometimes you learn all these English words coming from the township, and when you say them, you sound so bougie. Gravelux, seven Gravelux. Who came up with the word? Anyway, tastes nice, looks amazing. It's kind of like come together beautifully, and it works, and that's what we want. Food has to work. Okay, so that salmon is done and dusted. Done and dusted! <laughs> so what we're doing now is, we're doing a beautiful shakshuka. I know, you probably have seen it on Instagram. It's quite popular at the moment, but it's the best thing to eat or to enjoy for brunch, but also if you've had a heavy night out. And the thing about brunch that I love is that it's not about a starter, a main course, and a dessert. Everything just is on the table, and boy, do you eat. This chorizo is quite large and in charge and demands a lot of attention, so you've got to concentrate really hard in working with it. So I just want to make sure that I do this well, and then you've got lovely bite-sized pieces of chorizo in your mouth because it's so delicious. You really have to watch the chorizo while it cooks because if you cook it for too long, it becomes too hard and very hard to eat and nobody likes hard chorizo. I think mine is looking right about right. And guys, it's not, it's not a Russian, please. Let me just introduce, it's not a Russian from Alex, number 16. It is chorizo from Spain or Portugal, just so that you know. Look at how beautiful that chorizo is, honey. We have traveled to Spain and back. Yes, honey, yes. All right, so that's ready and going to rest itself, become a thing of peace. So now I'm going to literally just pour everything in, starting with the garlic, then the onions, let that cook through and become something really sweet and beautiful. And then we go tomato, paprika, cayenne, cumin, everything go into the pot, and then we let it simmer, and then we add everything else. You got it? And then some salt and pepper, and pepper. And then you literally stir that girl until she reduces to something that is worth eating. Okay, so you need to just allow that to kind of simmer and reduce in size and cook it. That looks amazing. So we can hoi this chorizo inside. Like that. Okay, and then I have a little trick with the eggs. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put them in here because it might just become a thing of a mess and I don't want that. So I'm going to create these beautiful nests. Crack one. And then I'm going to... <gasps> Twinsies. Twinsie eggs. I think I'm gonna keep these as like a souvenir. Just pop it in there like that. It's just neater and easier to handle. Handle your eggs well, ladies. Okay, righty. And then finally, some olives. Oh, looks so beautiful. This is going to taste delicious. Into the oven. If you don't have an oven, you can literally just put a lid on top and it'll still cook through. But I prefer an oven, just because I want it to go quicker. And of course, it depends what how, depends how you like your eggs. All right. And that should cook for about five to 10 minutes, depending on how you like your eggs. So, once again, on the wach, for the bus. Oh, that smells so good. It makes me want to sing YMCA. YMCA. Okay. Honestly, guys, please just ask the musical director to call me. Okay, so that looks amazing. So what I'm going to do now is just dress it with some parsley. That looks right about ready. So the lovely thing about this is that honestly all you need to do is put it on the table and that's the thing about brunch, hey? It's like interactive. People kind of grab, you see hands everywhere on the table. Some people eat it more than they were supposed to, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, I always get to this moment where I wonder where Tavo is. He's probably playing with the wigs because that's what he does on weekends all the time and heels. I hope he picks a good one though. I love this place. Hey, hey, hey. It's like hey mecca, ne? Oh, hello babes, what do you want? Ah, girl B, you're also here.
Yo, it's the Pile. You are hard at work working this week. Yeah, how are you? Uh, I'm good at you. Get back. I need to find a few wigs for a party for Tammy Dish. And I think I could use a wig myself, because, eh, the struggle is real. And all this money I spent on haircuts, okay, great. I'm done. Which one do you want to try on? Okay, let's try this one on. All right. This is your boy, B. Muriri Manala, Kiari Kakamola. I need four of these. Let's get them all, girls. All of them I want. I want babes. I want Denise. I want Bonang. All of them. When you create a brunch menu, not everything has to be intense and involved and rubbing beetroot, remembering the lady from Alex. No, some things can be super simple. So what I've done with this beautiful asparagus dish is that I've wrapped some asparagus in this beautiful pancetta, took store-bought mayonnaise, yes, I said it, store-bought, life's too short, zhuzh it up with some lemon juice, lemon rind, mustard Italian parsley, and serve with your asparagus pancetta. How easy was that? I know. You know, just creating this dish just reminded me of how my mom used to like make us eat greens and they were just so horrible. Now we've just wrapped it up in pancetta, added some mayonnaise and it's so much easier to eat. Hashtag me, the hostess, SABC3, and tell me what kind of greens you were forced to eat and what you've kind of like changed them up with. But um, oh, apparently you guys have to go to an ad break. Quickly go to the bathroom, do whatever you have to do. Tweet your friends, tweet me and I'll see you just now, okay? <laughs> That. Oh, you're back. As you can see, I'm putting together this beautiful, beautiful smoothie because, of course, Tommy can't have gluten, this, that, another thing. I've substituted everything so that it still tastes amazing, and this is how easy it was. Let's together some banana, blueberries, honey, and coconut milk. Free your creativity and garnish with some roasted coconut shavings, blueberries, and mint leaves. And there you have it, deliciousness in a smoothie. And the big thing here is that there is no dairy because Tommy has given me a list of things that he doesn't like, but it doesn't matter. He's going to be very happy with this. And mason jars are so popular at the moment. Everyone's using them and you can dress them up how you want. So popular. And girl, I'm so thirsty. I'm gonna have a sip. I'm going to the party, I'll see you later. Some exploration, mm, this is fancy. So I get to this mansion, I'm like, oh, I wanna see things I've never seen in my life. I get there, I'm looking around, gold mirrors, you know, big couches, I'm like, yo, oh, this is very different. Hey, Blueberry, why are you so cute? You got it from your mama. Oh, fashion, 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 fashion. Tommy is a G, now everyone's gonna be so dolled up. A face beat station was definitely fitting. And then there was a rail, so where all the girls get all dolled up with like fabulous clothes from his mate. So I enchained myself. Ah, look. Hello, my brothers. How you doing? <laughs> I'm Tyler Bluebird. Why are you holding me like that? <laughs> What I've done today, the treasury would even save me. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, Tammy's gonna love this, you know. Oh, I'm pocket size, I'm tiny dish, I'm so cute, I'm so cute. I can already see him here. Oh, and my lawns, she's gonna be so proud of me. Now back to my table, decor, decor, decor. When Tommy told us that he has friends from New York, New York, New York, who throw all these fancy wig parties, I was like, hmm, I can get creative with this, you know? I can do like mannequin heads, and then it hit me. How about I do a bouquet on a head? Like, I love it. Now, I took it to the next level. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Hey, Tabo. Hey, Tammy Licious. Oh, my. This looks absolutely stunning. I love flowers. I mean, what inspired this? You know, I was just thinking of like Medusa, but in a mm. spring royal wedding, you know? Mm. So having the heads they picked up also from the mannequins with yeah. all the hair on I mean, them. I absolutely love the wigs. The wigs look absolutely stunning. I mean, I think color, I think. You know, I decided beautiful. to bring in all the South African divas. Of, I've got your babe Wodumo, Denise Zimba, Bonang Matebe, yeah. Anelem Dota, they're all here. Lona within. Maseko, Lona Maseko, Busi, you know. Wanda Baloy, Kelly Kumar. All my favorite humans. <laughs> Lucia Mtiyan is also here. Okay, I can't wait. I, I can't have another wait. little surprise that I want to show you. Excellent. Oh, oh my. my Aren't you proud of Oh my goodness! Pride! Pride is everywhere, yeah. Oh my, guys, this looks absolutely amazing. Oh, do you want to play around a bit? Oh Can you try that one on? Let's see what Should you look like here. Okay. I'm going to put on my wig. Okay. See, the, the things Queens that are always so here. dramatic sometimes. I'm going to need you to help me. Right. Oh, wow. It's like a girl's go. play date. You're hosting us. So this is going to be amazing. Imagine when my guests okay, arrive Mr. and Dish. they find me not looking proper. So basically your guests will come in, uh -huh. try on a wig, put on a lipstick. If they find something fancy to wear, put Hard it on and then healthy. go into the party. How fabulous is that? Mm. Is the lipstick going on? Is the blue working on? <laughs> Let me see. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still here. Anyway, the party. We'll then your you. guests come through. Now they're touching each other. No, no, no. So anyway, the party, the I party. said, I can't take you seriously like that. <laughs> and then your guests come through here, take a selfie. Okay, all right. Come through. Thank you. Smile. Smiles or smile? The way you guys are getting too close is making me really no, okay, yeah. no, she's just jealous. Okay, okay, okay. I love you. Thanks. Au revoir. Wow. Out wow. of nowhere, boom, like an economy, he hit me. I'm like, what's that one? Kissing me, bruh. Yeah, I hope that gets me a feather award. You see my beautiful Instagram poster where everyone can take selfies. I love the wig party, but I don't like fake wigs. Wow. Since Tommy was quite generous, we splurged on food, deco, and of course those wigs on those heads. <laughs> Once Donna's food was there, ha, yes, show me. Oh! <laughs> the salmon on the cracker is so tasty. Lona and Tabo were absolutely great. They got the brief. They did absolutely great things that I wasn't expecting. The wigs here were absolutely fun. Whether we're doing charity, we're putting on silly wigs, girl, we know how to throw it down until your system kisses the client.